Welcome Wolfpack to another Scum Developer Update. This one's a pretty exciting one. It looks like the anniversary update is on the way. This morning on August 26th, 2019, at around 11 o'clock Eastern Time, the Scum Devs put out a map with three areas of interest circled. Now, in my opinion, these three areas probably coincide with the screenshots that they released last week. So if you have a base in either D4, C2, or A2, listen up. You might want to go move your stuff. The devs have said that you will lose your stuff if your base resides within those circles. Uh, today, we are going to take a look in depth at those screenshots and then a few other things that have happened over the last couple of weeks in their updates. All right, guys, these are the screenshots of the city or the urban area that they've been talking about for quite some time, pretty much since release day. Uh, I have my suspicions that this city may show up probably in the A2 area. Um, given the larger circle in D4, it's possible that it goes up there, but I think D4 is going to be reserved for the other point of interest that we'll talk about in a little bit, uh, just due to the topography of the map. So that's my opinion. The city looks great. There's going to be a lot of PvP in here, I'm sure, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I can't wait to go explore these buildings and see what they have going on in here. Pretty excited about this update for sure. And please, if you're enjoying this content, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you do subscribe, welcome to the Wolf Pack. I'm going to throw down a couple of links in the description below. You can check out our Scum University Tips and Tricks playlist, in addition to other Scum series playlists that we have done in the past. Here are a few screenshots of the new airfield that is supposed to come out as well. Uh, in my opinion, in my professional opinion, knowing the game, this uh, looks like the area of C2. Uh, you can see in that screenshot right there that uh, the observatory looks like it is up on the mountain. Uh, that's what makes me think that it's uh, going to pop up in C2. Again, I know nothing more than any one of you guys, but uh, that is my professional opinion after playing the game for a year. This one here stumps me. Not really quite sure what it is. They only gave a one screenshot, maybe two, and then a location on Google Earth. I'm very interested to check this one out. I have a sneaky suspicion that this one might be up in D4, just because the topography of the map uh, and what I saw on Google, it looked like a pretty mountainous region. So I guess we will see what that brings. In addition to the points of interest, they also had a couple of new vehicles. We have the motorbike, which... Uh, Obviously, it's right there. And then the tractor. Not really sure what we're going to be able to do with these things, uh, if they're just regular vehicles or how often they'll be around, but there they are. There looks like a new user interface item for swimming and diving. We have that right there. And then uh, it looks like hostages are going to be a thing in the game as well. You'll be able to tie up uh, some unknowing victim that you've taken at gunpoint. I uh, just want to be upfront with you guys that I don't have much insight other than the normal player. There could be some, there could be a few, or they could be all of the content that I just showed you showing up here in the next few days for their anniversary update. I'm excited to see what they're going to do. I'm excited to play the game. It's going to be awesome. I think these devs are doing a great job. Please don't forget to smash that like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'd love to have you in the Wolf Pack, and thank you for joining me today.